Well, police are providing an update on reports of a teen shot in Brampton. Let's take you there live. Yep, absolutely. Um, the suspect is urged to seek legal counsel and turn themselves in to investigators as soon as possible. I mean, is the suspect considered armed and dangerous? Should people be really we, concerned? Until we don't know if it's an Im imitation or real firearm, so absolutely. So there's a knapsack over there. I haven't been given that information. I'm not sure. Any idea how long the scene will be held for? Uh, not at this point. Um, I think at least until we hear more back from the hospital as well as getting the suspect into custody and our forensics will be on scene doing their investigation as well. Okay, so what do parents need to know about the hold and secure? Um, are students going to be let out, you know, by the end of school? Should parents be going to get their, 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 their children? Just what, what can you say to parents right now? We have been in contact with the Peel District School Board as well as the Catholic District School Board. They are very aware of the situation at this point. We don't know when all the hold and secures will be lifted, so I can't confirm that information at this point. But we are all the hold and secures are in place um, as well as the lockdown to protect their their children and the students. And um, right now, it's the hold and secures are more of as a precaution because we haven't located the suspect just yet. And which so. school is in lockdown? That is, there is a, quite the list, but we do have it listed on our social media site if anybody wants to visit that. Uh, you're allowed to be 24 now. If you could just recap uh, what, what occurred here. So this morning around 11.30 a.m., we received a call for a weapons dangerous um, here at Central Park Drive and Grenoble Boulevard in Brampton. When officers arrived on scene, they did locate a youth suffering from a gunshot wound. Um, and they were then taken to a local hospital. Their injuries have been deemed non-life threatening at this point, and I can confirm that the victim is a 13-year-old female youth. We don't have the suspect in custody just yet, but we do believe we've identified the suspect and we are actively looking for him. We do have several schools in hold and secure, um, as well as one school in lockdown to protect the safety of the students. And hopefully we will, you know, bring this to a close as quickly as possible. We're just getting an update from police in regards to reports of a teen that was shot in Brampton. What we did learn was that the youth uh, suffered a gunshot wound, uh, is, was transported to hospital. Uh, their injuries are considered to be non-life threatening. However, there is no suspect in custody yet. Uh, they have been identified. Uh, they have identified the suspect and they continue to look for him.